Everyone needs a coach in all aspects of your life. You need a religious coach or a spiritual coach. You need a money coach. You need a business coach. You need a golf coach if you golf, right? You need a relationship coach. What would make us think we didn't? I always find it fascinating that the people who are the best in the world at what they do have a coach and the rest of us don't think we need one, right? Tiger Woods has a golf coach. Why? Because Tiger cannot see himself swing. We can't see ourselves swing in so many aspects of our life, right? All of my businesses have a CEO manager that runs that business and I coach them. I help them to see the thing they can't see because they're in the forest and sometimes they can't see the thing. But I also have a coach. I actually have two of them. I have two business coaches that I meet with one once a week and one once a quarter who help me just have optics on things that I can't see to say, hey, have you tried this? Or, hey, watch out for that landmine, don't step there. I've stepped there before, that's a bad place to step, which is sometimes way more valuable than anything else. We do a couples retreat a couple times a year, and in the couples retreat, we'll have couples who've been there two years and 30 years, but because they're in their marriage, they don't see that they're running a pattern that they think is their pattern, they created it, but the reality is it's the same pattern every other couple who's been married that long or had kids or done those things. They're just running that pattern. And if we can step away from that and help them to see the pattern and go, look, you're just running this pattern and our experience has shown or other people's experience has shown, if you just make these one or two changes, it'll change your whole life. If you're stuck in your financial world and you can't figure out how to get to the next level and your somebody comes up to you and says, well, it's because your thermostat is set too low. If you'll simply change your thermostat, your whole world will change. They'll be like, I don't know what that means. I know. So let me sit with you for an hour. By the end of that hour, you'll know what it means and your whole life changes. You can't do that on your own. Yes, you can read books, you can do those kind of things, but you need somebody who's been there. So here's what I my recommendation. How do you find a coach? How do you find a mentor? Most people who are successful are happy to help. If they're not, they're probably just assholes, right? So if you find somebody and say, hey, do you mind if I take you to lunch? I'll pay. But you've been married for 35 years and you guys seem super happy. Do you mind if I just ask you some questions of how you did that? How valuable would that, would that be worth the price of a lunch? To take somebody to lunch and say, hey, do you mind if I just ask you, you've built this huge successful business. If you could tell me three things, what are those three things that would do for you? And so, you need a mentor, you need a coach, you need somebody to help you, somebody who's been there, somebody who has the success that you're seeking and is willing to help you and have more than one. Lastly, don't be afraid to pay for those people. If there's somebody who has something, so I have paid over, well over $400,000 for one of the coaches that I have. He's been a coach of mine for a decade and I've paid him over $400,000, but I've made or saved tens of millions of dollars because of that $400,000. People say, I wouldn't pay that kind of money for a coach. I'm like, I know, that's why you don't have tens of millions of dollars. That's why you're still poor. Don't be afraid to pay somebody for what they know if it can help you to get to the next level. All right, so get a coach, get a mentor. Dr. Tim.